All right, then another good morning here from Tiwan University International Cricket Ground here in Kitipur. A wonderful sight. This is the home of cricket in Nepal. It's a chilly morning, but I'm sure there is an exciting match that's coming up. In fact, two matches that, that, that are coming up, Kathmandu Knights will be taking Lumini All Stars, the table toppers of this Nepal T20 so far, and the second encounter is between Far West United and Pokhara Avengers. I'm sure Pokhara Avengers would want to have first points on the table. We all want to live in a world where sports means beauty, where sports means goodness, and where sports means hope. But today we lost such a man who made us believe that all of these things are possible. Thank you for making us believe in these things. Thank you, Pele. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and today is match 13. Kathmandu Knights versus Lumini All Stars. I have the captain with me, Gyan Mindra Mullah from the Kathmandu Knights, and Dupindra uh, Singh from All Stars Lumini, and the match referee, Mohammed Shafiq. So, Gyan Mindra, spin the coin, please. It's a tail. And it's a tail. So, uh, Dupinder Singh Muni, you've, uh, you've won the toss. What have you decided to do? Bat first. Lumini All Stars have won the toss and they've decided to bat. This is interesting. They'll have a bat first. The Lumini All Stars are very confident side. Kathmandu Knights. Dupinder Singh looked in a good touch. Lokesh Bum, he's brought up the order as an opener. Alex Blake, the foreign recruit, who's been very successful as well. Ryan Burl took a lovely catch. And Gandhra Mullah, the captain, former Nepali captain. Sunam Gautam. Asmatullah Omar Zai, who's been a star, absolute star for the Kathmandu Knights. Kamal Singh Aidi, Bashir Ahmed, Anil Kharil, the young spinner, and Avinash Bora, the medium pisa. Harry Tector will be participating in today's match. Lahiru Milanta has been tremendous with his bat in Dipendra Singh Aidi's team. The young lads will want to register five straight victory victories in this initial inaugural. Nepal T20 alongside me is the Sri Lanka legend with 125 ODI wickets. Second on the table. And the All Stars openers. And this man on your screen, Milanta. The best of 80 in this series, Lahiru Milanta. And Sunil Damala is a right hand batter. Likes going over the top and the offside. Borg and Indra Malla is Kathmandu Knights. And he's picked up four wickets in three matches. So that's one X bat. First ball of the match. A thought delivery to start with. Bill have a big role to play in try and gel in with the local players as soon as possible. Ball name this time. Damala trying to go across bat down the ground. And Azmatullah Marzai right throughout this tournament. And this occasion. Timba. Tried to play through the line, but the ball came in sharp, and Damala likes doing this. He likes three of nine, seven for one. Down the track this time, and I think he's found the middle. Yes. And this is the first one X bat, six of the match. A beautiful shot down the ground. Lad Milan the Pitch the ball and smashed. As you said, ideal conditions. And hammered down the uh, offside. A little bit of hand, but in the end, it was hit too hard. I think it'll be equal. I'm not going to mention which 11 should be given. I think it's unnecessary off fair. Down the ground. Powerful. One bounce foul. And it comes a reverse swing. Not much. You don't expect to reverse it for a long time. Down the ground this time. Mid on was up. Probably didn't time it as well as it likes, but cleared it enough. And I think it's a one bounce four. Oh, sort of one this time. Appeal and given. Kushal Burtil has to walk back after two boundaries in this over. I think Anil Kharil has had the last laugh. It's getting on. It wasn't that short. And I think that was a good decision for a moment, Kushal Burtil. Was very unhappy with that decision, but I think that was hitting leg stump flush. And Kushal Bertel gone for 19. Lumbini All Stars in trouble. 37 for two. 
king of football has left us, but his legacy will never be forgotten. And uh, heaved away. This is just going to get over the head of Asmatulla. Armasai, good strike. It was a full toss. Bit of a buffet ball, wasn't it? Continues to smile, and the tournament's leading run scorer keeps doing it. That's uh, one expat maximum. And he's definitely uh, going to attack the short side of the boundary. Clean them up. Oh, that's a beauty. That trademark celebration comes out. And you can see the seam position. It's just probably a little arm ball. That's one expat delivery of the match at the moment. Lovely bowling. You talked about the mystery. There was a lot of mystery there in his bowling. He didn't pick it. And he's out. 25 of 18. And they are 57 for three. And that's uh, raced away. Oh, yeah, they've done very well. And he certainly... Great catch. That's a fantastic catch there. Crab claw hands, this unorthodox technique of Ryan Burrell. This is a ripper. An absolute ripper from Ryan Burrell. Brilliant ground gone for seven that came right off the toe of the bat disappointment for him and the all-stars 79 for four clubbed away and he's going to finally get some runs here and it's going to start his account today with a maximum here's a look at the six just wrong angle and helped around the corner by harmeet singh it's like sort of slower surfaces get it! and uh, he hasn't been watching alex blake's batting Lovely piece of bowling there. And that's not going to necessarily please the CEO of Lumbini up in the crowd there because Singh has given it away. Good simple catch held by Basir Ahmed. He's a good all-round cricketer. But Singh is gone for 12. And the All-Star is 92 for 5. Oh, got the outside edge. We're running down to the boundary. Yeah, that is one expect four for Anil Shah to Anil's. CEO of Lumbini Stars, Mr. Sandesh Sharma, very happy. He would shot down the ground, down the mid-wicket area, and uh, that's a one x bat six. Naidu, the captain, he's not gonna miss out. To the grass bats. Yeah, that was a big hit by ID. Captain. I'm dancing down the track, over extra. One bounce for that is yet another one expat boundary for Prati, uh, sorry, defensive Singh Ayuri. The length ball very well, uses Yorker, uses a slow ball, a complete bowler. Uh, uh, what? I think that's a catch. Yes, it is, Anil Shah. Full marks to the field here, more than the bowler picking up the wicket, I think. The field has to be given credit here. A rank hop outside the yard stump, smashed it. Anil Kumar Shah gone for 13, Lumini All Stars, 122 for 6. Avinash Bora is known for his yoga, he's in the death overs. Oh, bold a full toss. Uh, taken on square leg, we'll have to see the umpire. Will they? Full toss. I think it's a marginal call, the third umpire will want a different angle to make his decision. But in the end, the deep square leg fielder did not have, a, have to move an inch. Straight to the palms. Yeah, they're checking the height. Uh, is it over waist high? The yoga is as good as my tight one, but I think, I think it should be under, and it should be deep in the iris innings over. One of the bat, and I think we have got a decision, and that's out. A decent innings by the captain. 40 of 27, Lumbini 133 for seven. Avinash Bora to end the proceedings for Kathmandu Knights. Very well bowled, right in the block hole, but equally well batted by Shadley. Hits it for a one x bat boundary. Yet another slow yoker, I must say, but lands in this. Safe and oh, there's a run out chance. The umpire has gone upstairs. Let's take a closer look here. 
Shadley, the big effort saves him. Big effort saves him. Take a look at that for a commitment. Any youngster watching, you always put a prize on your wicket. This is brilliant by the overseas professional. Ah, big heave over long on. Almost in front of us. Furries. <laughs> Sent him by Bora. And Shadley, we spoke about his power. And putting into display. Luckily, we missed us in that com box beautiful shot keeping his uh, shape keeping his arc and the little box that's where he uh, just five feet away if not it would have landed on Parish Lohani's lap over there again very well bowled they're trying for a second keeper is go ah I think he's gone I think Gulchan is gone nailed the yoke again by Abhinash Bora and uh, easy as you like for the third umpire got to be out just a one run in the end finishing at 150 for eight which i think is a decent score but katman and nice to win this they got a bat out of their skin spins lumbini also do have a very good bowling attack katman do knights need 151 runs to win from 20 overs Playing his fourth comp. 63 runs, strike rate of 108.6. He's someone that want to get going in the power play. It's Lokesh Baum playing his fourth game. Would like to get some more runs. Here we go. First ball coming up. How many times have you spoken about that? Now, now chance here. Direct hit. All things looking at from the commentary box. I think here yeah, they have got their man. Virandip Singh, the overseas player. In swung. Your pardon, the locust bomb. Your pardon. My bad. Directed always gets a batsman going. On this occasion, not the easiest decision for the third umpire. Out is the call. First wicket down for Kathmandu Knights. That's Lokesh bomb without facing a ball. None for one. Harmit Singh. <laughs> interesting choice. Interesting choice. And don't understand what uh, Virendra Singh was thinking there. Especially after losing the first wicket in the first over. That's not the shot I'm afraid to say. As overseas player, you've got to be taking much more responsibility than that. And he hasn't troubled the score as Katamandu Knights are one for two slow motion replay that we have the technology behind a possibly going down leg oh he's got his second wicket he's run absolute peach of a delivery he's running towards point perfect delivery turning midland off and a neat catch in the first leap and harmit singh off he goes son skipper mallas Dreadful season continues, gone for not. It's two runs for three wickets. Alex Blake will play, play the second fiddle. We'll try to bat as long as possible. All day, this time, the previous delivery went away from the left hand. And this one, this young man, probably the most impressive in the Nepal G20 League right throughout. What a delivery. That cut him in half. So Royal Bell innings come to an end. He's only scored two and Katmandu Knights lose their fourth wicket. Most of the time, they are unbeatable. It's a beautiful shot by Sunam Gautam down the ground. A picture perfect on drive. Beautiful shot by Alex Blake. Slightly shorter by Deep in the Swing Irie. Oh, that was very wide. Oh! What a catch! And that is one expat wicket for Tilakras Bandari. A long hop. Well, this is classic wrist spin, isn't it? It's a really poor delivery, being frank. And Alex Blake could have gone anywhere long off. I don't think he can quite believe it. Gone for 11 off 13. And Kathmandu, they're a rabble. 22 for 5. <laughs> this one keeps very low. 
I don't think it's hit anything. It might have just flicked the flap of the pad. It's going to be four to the total, and four buys is the decision. Nepal T20 here. Very sad news today about Pele losing a legend of the game of football. As that smoked, obliterated, in fact, by Asmatullah Ormazai. His first maximum. There's still life in this chase. For Ormazai, look at that. Picked it, up, picked it up on the up and smashed it down the ground. One for nine. Smashed. Asmatullah Ormazai makes batting look very, very easy. And that one has gone miles. He's going to extend his lead. That was a long hop by Tilak, and that is yet another, the second one expat six for Omar, Omar Zai. Going to repeat the dose down the ground. It's only half and hit, smashes into the side screen. It's his 14 6. Omar Zai on the charge now for the Knights. Back to back sixes for Omar Zai, one expat. Six yet again, the third six of the innings for Omar Zai. I hit the side screen on the full. What a strike! Needs some kind of magic from him again, isn't it? <laughs> oh, this has gone beautifully bowled by Harmeet. And Sunam Gautam has been dismissed. What a side for a spinner. I think Monty is very happy. I would love watching this. In the air and off the pitch. Beautiful bowling. Deception in disguise. This man is on fire. And Katman to have lost their sixth wicket. And Gautam is out for 18. In the first slip. Oh, this is gone. Up in there. Does it have enough? Oh, brilliantly brought back. And in fact, they've got a catch. What a catch. This is one next catch of the tournament so far. And the seventh wicket has fallen. This is one next bat catch of the tournament. Have a look at this. They're just having a look, but look at the presence of mind, the balance to stay within the boundary rope and send it to his fielder. Unbelievable. This team is on a high. This team means business. And this fielding has kept us all surprised. And sometimes it does add it. But for Harry Tector, I think... That's obviously a clumsy mistake. And that's that's six. One expat maximum. They'll have to play out, out of their skin to win it from here. You know, plenty of these. Although, let's see, how does he respond? He tries to pull it. Oh, this is an appeal. Has he got there? Has he got there? Milanda thinks it's close. I think he has. Just there, just there. The bills are off. His bat. I think he's landed. Yes. The third umpire thinks the same. Here's the big fella, Tekta. Who, uh, it'd be nice if you can get a, a wicket here. And this is brilliant. Plucking it easily off the air. And another wicket has fallen down. Bashir Ramad. They want to win more matches. They want to be there. They want to dominate. But this has turned a bit. Will it go all the way? Yes. It's Avinash Bora. It's called 150. This is a very good hit to finish this off. It'll only add confidence to Kamal Singh ID because the match has gone to Lumini All Stars by 35 runs. The first three batters all went for duck. 0 0 0 for Virandeep Lokesh and Ganendra Malla. Blake tried to get that start, didn't get it. 38, the highest scorer was Omar Zai. Sunam stayed there for a while as well, and Kamal Singh ID's 19 of 10 was in vain. Nine extras bowled by Lumini All Stars, but even with that, they could not manage the winning target. They could not get to the winning target of 150, and they were limited at a score of only 115 for eight. Bowling card, figures of 1 for 26 for Tilak. 
Match summary 150 for 8 is what Luminols has managed for a moment we thought would not be enough. They've been racing ID 40 of 27 with the bat and Kathmandu Knights in contrast could only manage 115 of 8 and they went on to lose this match by 35 runs.